Horizons changed a lot in the last 75 years. Our instructors now use computers, tablets, phones, online discussion, and Skype to bring people into the classroom who aren't even there. Students rely on technology to produce and submit essays and reports, to perform research, and, of course, to update their Facebook accounts. We're coming up with new ways all the time of delivering courses at Horizon. Recently, we had students Skype in from three different continents, and we've just packaged four online courses to take at a distance. But let's go talk to somebody who can tell us a little bit about how this process works. Bob? Hey, Bob. What's up? Well, for one thing, us. Welcome to the world of IT. These green and blue wires up here, they carry the signals that allow our computers to talk to each other all over the building. Unfortunately, sometimes things go wrong, and when they do, we IT types, we have to follow the wires. And they often lead us into places like this, the ceiling. Sometimes, when I'm not so lucky, I have to come down here and work in the catacombs buried deep under the school. Our telephone cables and some of our network cables live here and die here. To be honest, most of my days lie somewhere between the ceiling tiles and the catacombs. On any given day, I could find myself repairing wireless access units, working on a projector, repairing a computer, running a soundboard, editing a video, or tweaking the network. All right, Bob, the world is listening. What would you like them to know about your story? Well, I guess as an adult, I started my story as an electrical engineer many years ago, graduating from the University of Windsor. Uh, at that point in time, I was working in robotic vision. It was a great field. It was up and coming, and it was uh, highly technical. I enjoyed it, but there was an engineer there that invited me to church. And I went, heard the gospel, and after three weeks, I gave my heart to Christ. I did think at that point in time I would never enter vocational ministry because, well, I was making good money and I enjoyed engineering. Then I got baptized with the Spirit, and things changed. My perspective changed, and uh, eventually God would lead me into what I thought he never would, which was full-time ministry. I actually pastored in Windsor for seven years, and then I came out here to Saskatoon, and I pastored for another 13. Throughout that time, I also had the honor of working uh, both with InterVarsity Christian Fellowship in Windsor and Youth for Christ here in Saskatoon. Of course, my primary ministry context today is at Horizon College and Seminary as a coordinator to alternative education. I also have a minor in handling the IT details that happen here day to day at the college. Well, thanks so much, Bob, for giving us this glimpse behind the scenes at the tech world at Horizon. Thanks to these and other technological advances, Horizon is able to go forward in delivering our courses and programs to you on your schedule. So get in touch. You may be amazed at how fast we can put something together for you. Oh, I gotta go. I guess there's uh, one more issue here yet to deal with.